is Lisa from Life in Layouts and today I have another process video using my supplies from Scrapping for Less and I am using the Flavor of the Month kit in the banana split level and this month it is countryside. So with the kit you get four different collections and this collection is from my favorite things tiny checks so the the six by six paper pad has all different colors from pink red orange yellow green purple and i received the purples and greens and blues in my kit and i think i ended up with a yellow or like a limey green color but i don't end up using that one so this is another way i love to use up my six by six paper pads what i'm doing is I cut down the paper pads to 4x4 four four, and then I just used 4 4x6 four photos. So depending on the number of photos, you can also use multiple 4x4 four four photos too instead of the 4x4 four four paper. So I wanted to show you a way to use the paper without necessarily using all of the kit supplies. So I know that every one of us has one of these sticker sheets in our collection where we purchased it for uh, another kit that we were using or uh, we, as you can see, I used a ton of it on other layouts and I just want it out of my scrap room. I want it to be done. So I thought, let me use up as much as I can on this layout because the colors are very similar to the tiny checks that are in the My Favorite Things paper pad. So I end up using quite a bit of this sticker sheet. Those two things that I just showed you there, the little blue star and that little green banner, that actually comes from the kit. And because they are the same colors that I'm using, I thought I could try and see if I can get those on. And I do eventually get both of those pieces on. These photos are just some photos that we were taking while we were outside of Universal. We have Universal annual passes. So when we go, the boys are not just interested in Universal themselves. Like we, they love going on rides and things like that. But they also want to see everything else because we go quite a bit. So this little creature guy was like outside one of the restaurants and they spent a good probably 20 minutes playing on this little guy the journaling that I'm gonna do is just talks about how these little boys are definitely all boys uh, my title ends up being snips and snails like the little nursery rhyme of snips and snails and puppy dog tails each one of these kits the four collections that I received came with a different set of sequins and I am loving the sequins I think I've said it in the other two videos that I made as well the sequins are awesome and so I just add a couple pieces to my clusters so this is where I decide to put my title of snips and snails so I had to take off that square to make my title fit but I actually end up adding it back I just move it over to the left a little bit so let me tell you a little bit more about scrapping for less uh, they do have a card kit that is offered monthly and the reveal date is at the end of the month so that is why uh, I'm using the May kit uh, because the June kit hasn't come out yet so this is a current kit even though it is June they have two levels that you can order from and the banana split level for the May comes with the four collections as well as a rubber stamp, a die of some chickens which were really cute and I haven't used those yet and some Nuvo drops that I'm going to use at the very end of this video and then some burlap which I haven't had a chance to figure out how I'm going to use that. And then they also have a monthly kit called Double Dip Sunday and that includes just the four collections. It doesn't include those extras that I just mentioned. 
So you can purchase the kit by itself or you can do a subscription and that subscription does offer a discount if you sign up for a monthly subscription. And of course, by the name of their title, Scrapping for Less, you can also purchase scrapbook supplies from them. So they are, offer scrapbook supplies at a discounted price and they try to offer new and relevant scrapbooking supplies. So you're still able to get a discount for things that are still new and, and out very recently. So I will link below a unboxing of this month's kit so that you can see all of the collections that come with it, as well as list to Scrapping for Less's Facebook page. So I would love for you to go check them out and see what they have to offer. So now let me get back to the layout that I'm doing. I felt like the the checks were all kind of running together and I needed some type of division with them. So I used my notebook border punch and I'm gonna add that to the top of the six by six papers. And that also kind of brings the papers together. So it makes it look cohesive even though they're only six by six size. So sometimes I feel like I'm a Nazi with my adhesive and I have to add a ton of it to every little space. I'm gonna use my journaling card and I'm gonna cut it in half because I just need a little bit of journaling. I'm gonna journal about each one of the boys on there. So I just added just a little bit of information and I end up using the tiny check paper as a border for both of them. So using up those scraps I actually used for that banner punch, just covered it up with the check or with the journaling card, so you can't even see that I cut the border punch behind it. So I end up adding both of those to either side of the layout, and then I'm just going to journal on it about the boys. So this is where I add my journaling, and then the last thing that I do is add those Nuva drops that I was showing you guys earlier. Because um, you always want to do those last because it takes a little while for them to dry, so I just added them to my clusters as well. And I think this is where I hold it up and show it to you. There you go. So you can see exactly what it is. It's like this tangerine color. It's really pretty. So here is my finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Definitely go check out Scrapping for Less. I will link them below. If you want to see more double page layouts, hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys have a scrappy day. Thanks for watching.